Yeah, so I'm going to cover that again because we had forgotten to record. Um, so we're going to use the, the framework called Tools, Platforms, and Frameworks. You're going to take this template. You're going to make your own copy. Um, we have uh, broken down, and this is a work in progress. If something is missing, then please tell us, and we can improve this. Getting this framework right, um, we're pretty sure we don't have it perfectly right, but uh, we want to, uh, yeah, we want to keep improving on it. But identifying what are the ten things that we think are relevant for you, or what are the 10 things rather that you think are relevant for you, and then we're going to be improving on that uh, week by week. And so one of the mistakes that we want to avoid is where people take something really difficult or really fancy and don't focus on getting the basics right. So if they're not really comfortable with MLOps that they say, you know what, I want to go and do Spark or Hadoop, or they're not comfortable at scripting, or they're not good at Docker, um, and working together as a group, if we identify areas where we are weak, then we're going to be able to say, look, we need a Docker tutorial or we need special support in uh, each of these areas. And so this is an individualized learning plan for you. We're going to update this every month and we're going to report on progress uh, every week. And when I say we're going to update this every month, I mean you will be updating where are you making progress every month. We also recognize that you may not have um, completed all of your projects in the best way. And so I would uh, use those as a guide to say, I was supposed to have been able to do ABC in my projects. I wasn't able to get that done. What should I do? That, that you know, which, which tools, platform, frameworks, which tools, platforms, and frameworks should I work to improve uh, on? So, I think the rest of it is pretty uh, self-explanatory. I want you guys to kind of work your ways into that. Um, this should be the thing that takes up all of your Slack time. Now, improving in these areas, it could take the form of a project. It could take the form of um, working with somebody else who's working in this area. I don't think, in most cases, I do not think that simply doing data camp is going to, is going to help you. DataCamp may help you, but I think just going through, clicking on a course is probably not going to get you uh, the level of support or the level of progress that you want to have. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure too much. I don't know too much more about what to say. I think um, the hand we need this to be handed in. Uh, we need you to think about it. We need you to pick the top 10 things that you want to work on, and then we should with each and every person come to an understanding of what are the priority one things that we need to start improving on immediately. We've shared in the past, uh, earlier this week, this Python and SQL um, list. And we developed that list with our alumni because uh, we had the problem before where we we weren't, or trainees weren't sure what uh, what what's a reasonable level. And so we've broken it down to say that you need to at least have all of the basics, um, and you should be acquiring the intermediate skills. So if you can't, if there's any of that, those descriptions, and it's not a perfect description, but it's almost like describing a language. Like if you can't use the punctuation in the right way or contractions, or you don't need, you know what the word, um, I don't know, in English, what's a difficult word? Uh, I can't, I can't think of a word right now. So it's not a perfect description, but these are all guidelines to help you um, start to establish what is a, um, wh where do I need to start working? So I would like you, so Rodas, when, when does this need to be handed in, the TPF assessment, the first one? OK, so we'll, we'll write that on Slack. Um, in, in my experience, uh, people who did, uh, who did really well in the training, who were able to keep up, then it's usually a question of improving their projects and, uh, maybe working on a new capstone project and getting all their materials right and probably polishing something like scripting or prob probably polishing Docker. Maybe there's a few things that they kind of are not super comfortable with and they have time to go into more details. Um, for people who did okay, um, 
then there's probably a little bit more foundational work to do in Python and SQL, making sure that you can code efficiently, that your code is properly structured, properly formatted, and then to start thinking about Docker and Bash and other uh, important tools, and then to start uh, thinking about improving the projects. For people who really struggled, then I think we need to have an honest conversation about uh, what is our plan to get priority one stuff up to scratch before we do anything else. Because for people who really found the training difficult, um, they may not be ready to get to get through an interview uh, at for a really demanding job in three months unless they're ready to keep up this learning pace that they were uh, they were working on for the last three months. So that's all I have. Super brief. Uh, any questions? Any thoughts? Twelve minutes. That was a short, short presentation. The careers manual has additional information. We've broken down. Um, we have examples, tools, platforms, and frameworks there. I would like you guys to use those, so you don't need to come up with them. Come uh, up with them yourself. So. Yeah, the the other thing that I want to actually present, and I'm going to present here. Um, I always found this uh, description, and it's from uh, it's from a venture capital firm named Anderson Horowitz, and they have kind of a new one, and they have this is the newer one, I believe, or is this the older one? They have a newer one and an older one. Anyhow, it really helped me, especially for those people who are maybe not super comfortable with the whole how everything fits together. When you apply for jobs, I would like you to know how the work that you're doing fits into the entire uh, data flow or the data blueprint or the data ecosystem. And this is a very nice view of that, right? So you have data sources that are coming in. How are you ingesting that data? Where is it stored? Um, where can you reflect on that data, the historical data? And then this is where your machine learning happens, the data science platform, the ML libraries, and then you have the outputs. And they have uh, a lot of the tools that are being used, things like DBT, Databricks, um, Looker, uh, other tools that are there. It helped me to understand, OK, there's so many different, I would say, there's so much jargon that's out there. And there's so many different uh, tools that it was a little bit hard for me to get an overview of it. I think it's important that you, everyone here, when you apply for jobs, you understand where is the work that you're doing and where, where does it fit into this overall ecosystem. So this is also in the careers manual. So we have uh, no reaction. So T one TPF plan for each month. And then for each week, we're going to say, what am I going to work on for this week? But I want 10 things that are key for your track for the month. Now, that month-to-month -month view is not going to change very much. Um, it may evolve a little bit, but the week-to-week -week, week -week view is going to change. I mean, Sorry. 10 is enough. <clears throat> Sorry. What do you mean by week-to-week? -week? So week to week, um, we are going to be, you're going to be improving on things, areas that you're weak on. So for, we're not going to start this week. I think we're starting next week. I'd have to look at the schedule to be 100% sure. Um, which areas do we want to improve on uh, for that week? And at the end of the week, we report on our progress. So uh, we want to plan for the entire month. What are the... 10 things, the 10 tools, platforms, and frameworks which are relevant for my career. And then I believe from next week, we start to say, of those 10, what do I need to work on and improve on? And how am I going to gauge my progress? And at the end of the week, we report back. So is it similar to the usual way we did it the last 12 weeks? Not exactly, because this is now people have to make individual plans, right? We're not going to be giving out, uh, we're not going to be giving out exercises for people. So well, it's so more of us coming up with the plan and try to uh, improve. 
our own skill or just yeah so i'll give you an example so fanny has asked for an example i'll give i think you're also looking for an example so one of the things that uh, we see is that or we had last time was people were honest with themselves and said look you know actually i don't really get docker I'm not really sure how to work with it i'm not comfortable with it if i had to dockerize something in an interview you know, I would struggle. I did it a little bit during the training, but I needed help and I kind of copied from someone and I can kind of get it working, but I don't really understand. Um, and I realized that my Python is up to scratch, my SQL is up to scratch, I can do a bit of scripting, but my Docker is weak. So this week I'm going to work on Docker. And so what the plan for the week would be, how am I going to work on Docker? What exercises am I going to complete? Can I undertake, uh, can I Dockerize some of the stuff let's say a hour, one of the weeks, I didn't dockerize it properly, so I'm gonna go back and dockerize it fully. And that's gonna be, learning how to do that is going to teach me uh, dockerization to the right level. And that's my plan for this week. It could also be that uh, I wrote the, I realized that my Python is weak or it needs to be up to scratch. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna redo all of the code for one of the projects that's relevant to my uh, to my track anyways, but I'm going to make sure that it's properly documented, It's it, it runs more efficiently, it's written in more object-oriented formats. Um, I went and I looked at uh, somebody in this class or in this cohort whose code is really good and I'm gonna learn from what they did and I'm gonna try and get my code to be at least as good as theirs without just copying theirs. So that's another scenario. Scenario three could be, um, I don't know. I mean, there's lo there's lots of scenarios that I'm, I wanna do data engineering and uh, I know that my SQL is not up to scratch. So I'm gonna go and find a very large publicly available data set and I'm going to try and get my uh, to write queries to be able to extract data from that in an in an efficient way, and that way you can measure the efficiency maybe by the time it takes to execute or the lines of code. Or I just want to be able to use all of the different operators that are available to extract data in the right way, and so on and so on and so on. And all of this is in order to upgrade. Uh, get yourself to the level that you're ready to pass the interviews for the jobs that you want to get. Because you can't you can't really fake, well, you can't fake it. Even if you can fake it, we don't want you to fake it. Um, because if you fake it, you may get the job, but you're not going to be successful in the job. So the next three months, the supported job search phase is going to be up an individualized upgrading of our skills. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Any questions, guys? So I think what we're seeing here is that the uh, we're now moving to more individual. Uh, we're moving to everyone has to come up with more individualized plans. We're going to be forming groups soon, and those groups will be on the basis of the tracks that you want to follow, as well as um, how well you've done in the past. And that'll be helpful during the job search phase, but we hope it'll also be helpful during this uh, skill upgrading phase. I have a request. If you're good at something, then don't hesitate uh, to offer help to other people. And similarly, if you need help in something, then you should be asking. So I would like us to be uh, to get to the place where we learn as a group, we learn as a cohort. I know we have a lot of knowledge in this cohort, and I would like to see that knowledge uh, shared as much as possible. Any questions, guys? All right, okay. So I think that is it for now. Um, or no, that, that is it for now. So thank you, I think we can stop recording. Uh, what's up next, today is March 4th.